Grand Ayatollah Nazar Makarem Shirazi is an Iranian Shia Marja and religious leader. Biography He was born in the city of Shiraz, Iran. His ancestors were Iranian Jews who converted to Shia Islam. He finished his school in Shiraz. He started his formal Islamic studies at the age of 14 in the Aga Baba Khan Shirazi Seminary. After completing the introductory studies, he started studying jurisprudence, fiqh, and its principles, usul al-fiqh. He made rapid progress and finished studying the complete levels of introductory and both the levels of the intermediate Islamic studies in approximately four years. During this time, he also taught at the Islamic seminary in Shiraz. At the age of 18, he formally entered the theological seminary of Qam, and for the next five years was present in the religious gatherings and classes of some of the leading Islamic teachers of those days, such as Ayatollah Muhammad Hussein Burajurdi, and Ayatollah Said Qazem Shariat Maderi. In Najaf In 1950 he made his way to the seminary of Najaf, Iraq. Here, he was able to take part in classes of teachers such as Ayatollah Musan al-Hakim, Ayatollah Abul Qasim Koei and Ayatollah Abdul Hadi Ash Shirazi. At the age of 24, he was granted complete ijtihad by two senior scholars in Najaf. Ayatollah Musan al-Hakim also wrote a short, comprehensive letter of commendation for him. In 1951 he returned to Qam, since he did not have the means to survive and continue his studies in Najaf. After returning to Iran, Ayatollah Nasir Makarim Shirazi began teaching the intermediate and higher level of studies in Yuzul al fiqh and Fiqh. Also, he was a member of the editorial board of the first Islamic magazine published in Iran named Maktabi Eslam, next to Ayatollah Shariat Maderi. He has won the Iranian Royal Academy of Philosophy Award for his essay Phil Suvnamaha. Fatwas and Viewpoints Women's Attendance in Stadia In the aftermath of an attempt by President Ahmadinejad to allow women to attend soccer matches in stadiums, something they are not able to do now, Makarem issued a fatwa objecting to this. Alternatives to Stoning Makarem's fatwa concerning stoning to death for adultery reads, in certain circumstances, death by stoning can be replaced by other methods of punishment. Smoking Makarem issued a fatwa declaring smoking as forbidden, harem. Dogs and pets In 2010 he responded to a request inquiring why a dog is considered unclean under sharia despite a lack of any references to dogs in the Quran. In his fatwa he emphasized that under sharia, dogs are indeed considered unclean based upon riway as, reliable narrations, hadith, handed down from the Prophet Muhammad and his household. Makarem described the current Iranian inclination toward dogs as blindly imitating the West, something that he believes will result in evil outcomes. The Iranian Ministry of Culture and Islamic Guidance reacted to this fatwa by banning all advertisement related to keeping, buying, and selling pets. Holocaust In September 2010 he was quoted by the Iranian state news agency IRNA as saying the Holocaust is nothing but superstition, but Zionists say that people of the world should be forced to accept this. The truth about the Holocaust is not clear and when the researchers want to examine whether it is true or the Jews have created it to pose as victims, they jail the researchers. Underage Marriage In reference to marriage of girls under 13 years of age, which is allowed in Iran under certain circumstances, he has stated that, although such marriages were permitted in the past, in modern times it has been demonstrated that they are not in the best interest, Maslaha, of the parties involved and should be considered invalid. Political Career Ayatollah Makarim Shirazi was active in the pre-revolution days, hence he was thrown in jail many times. He was even exiled on three separate occasions to three different locations Chabahar, Mahabad, and Anarak. After the Iranian Revolution, 
he was appointed to the Assembly of Experts for Construction and played a major role in writing the first constitution. He is no longer a member of the government, and resides in the city of Qam. On November 23, 2014 and after months of preparations, he finally managed to gather in over 600 religious scholars from around the world in a conference titled the International Congress on Extremist and Takfiri Movements in the Islamic Scholars' View. It was a meeting for discussing controversial issues affecting the Muslim world, especially Takfiri movements. After the first successful hosting in which he condemned the inaction in the face of ISIL atrocities, he decided to reorganize another conference, Extremism and Takfiri Movements in Today's World in January 28, 2016, to further focus on the responsibilities of the Muslim scholars regarding the unwelcome emergence of extremism. At the second Congress same as the first one, scholars of more than 80 countries received invitations and was participated by about 1,000 people. Selected Bibliography some of his publications include The Message of Quran Our Belief Comes the Fund of Independence of Bayt al-Mal Quran Translation and Commentary in Brief Life Under the Grace of Ethics Universal Government of Mahdi Islamic Law Sexual Problems of the Youth Shia Answers Commentary on the Book Kifayat al-Yuzul at age 18. The Manifestation of Truth. Commentary on the Quran, Tafsir Nimona. The Message of the Quran. Anwar al Fuqaha. Al Kawait al Fikiya. The Limits of Azadari. They will ask you. 50 Life Lessons from the Al Albayt, A. Eh? Please subscribe and thanks for watching.